Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dr. Weaver here, and what to study for genetics? Well, guess what? I noticed at least three things that come up a lot on the AP Bio exam, so that's what the next three videos are going to be about. All right, guys, here it is. So if you've been taking some practice AP bio exams that have been released, you probably noticed that practically every year there is something to do with Morgan link genes in Drosophila. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some Drosophila notation. How do you do it? And then we're going to get into the classic cross by Morgan and how he showed that certain genes are linked to the same chromosome and, of course, what that means. All right, so these are two Drosophila or fruit flies side by side. The one on the left right here is considered wild type or the kind of fruit fly that occurs in the wild or in nature. And that's symbolized by the letters W, T. Over time, this T right here has been simplified to the symbol plus. Unlike Mendel's notation when he's talking about the dominant and recessive genes, with Mendel we use the capital letter for the dominant phenotype or allele. So for example, big T would be for like tall pea plants. And the lowercase letter is going to be for the recessive phenotype, or for example, short plants. And then we can use these to describe the combinations of um, dominant and recessive genes. With uh, fruit flies, it's a different type of notation. Okay, what the notation is that we are going to be naming the genes after the mutant phenotype. So uh, if you look on the right, right here, this fruit fly is, it has a couple of mutations. One is the wings. The wings look a little crinkly. These are called vestigial wings. Vestigial is symbolized by the uh, symbol VG. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be one letter. It could be two to symbolize the um, this mutant phenotype. And the other mut mutation this fly has, it has, actually has a black body. So we're going to be using the letter B to symbolize the black body. So like I said, the... Um, in Drosophila, the notation is always after the mutant phenotype. So even though we're considering the wild type, we're still going to give it the symbol VG for normal wings, except we're going to give it a superscript for the plus, indicating that's wild type. So here we're going to have VG plus for the allele that's going to symbolize normal wings. And the body color in this Drosophila, in the wild, it is considered a gray color. So we're going to give it the symbol for the mutant phenotype, B for black body, but we're indicating that it's wild type, so we're giving it a plus. So the genotype for the wild type is going to be B plus, B plus, VG plus, VG plus. The pluses indicate that it is going to be homozygous for the gray body. It is also going to be homozygous for the normal wings, keeping in mind that the VGs and the Bs are named Fs or symbolized after the recessive phenotypes. Here, this is recessive for both uh, both traits. It is going to be BB with no plus indicating that it is a black body and a VG, VG with no pluses indicating that it has these vestigial crinkly looking wings. So what Morgan did was he took this wild type fruit fly, he crossed it with this uh, recessive for both phenotypes and for the F1 cross and what did he get? So if you take the Bs and you just cross the Bs, you get 100% heterozygous B plus B, still gray. And if you take the VGs, you get the same thing, 100% heterozygous normal wings. So it actually looks just like the wild type. Now it is going to be heterozygous or hybrid for both traits. So the offspring are going to be wild type with one key difference. It is They are going to be heterozygous for each trait, B plus B, VG plus VG. Now what Morgan did was an F2 cross where he took this heterozygous hybrid for each trait wild type fruit fly and he crossed it with that uh, mutant phenotype for both traits. So we have the B plus B, VG plus VG crossed with BB, VG, VG. Keep in mind no pluses means that it is going to be be the recessive phenotype assortment, and the genes were not linked, uh, we would see a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. If this was on the same chromosome, each would look like at least one of the parents, gray normal or black vestigial, and you would have zero with a recombination of each. So when Morgan did this cross, he actually noticed the following results. So Morgan did notice that most of the offspring looked like one of the parents. However, in two, the other two categories, there was a smaller percentage of organisms that looked like the recombinants. So what did he conclude? He concluded that the genes were on the same chromosome, but some other mechanism must have contributed to them getting these new combinations. And we know that today as crossing over. 
So 391 were the total offspring out of the 2300 that were recombinants, that were new combinations that did not look like one of the parents. If we take that percentage, okay, it is going to be 17%. That is going to be considered the percent of crossing over or recombinants. Now, because this came out of Morgan's lab, the um, percent recombinants is now known as 17 centimorgans. That means that if we look at this chromosome and we have the gene for body color, which is symbolized by B for the recessive phenotype, and we have the gene that has to do with the nature of the wing, or VG, that means these two genes are 17 centimorgans apart on the same chromosome, which means the genes are linked in the same, on the same chromosome. Keep in mind, the lower the number, the percentage of crossing over means that they are going to be closer together on the chromosome.